Way back in 2010, Tesla released a statement on their website revealing their intent to work together on a new electric car. The two companies planned to form a specialist team to make it happen, and Toyota agreed to buy $50 million of Tesla's common stock issued in a private placement. Now, about 11 years later, we're still discussing the what-ifs, but we have nothing concrete. An update some weeks ago said they were closer to reaching a deal, but Tesla fans still have no idea what to expect. But this hasn't stopped theories from floating around the internet. Welcome back! If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. So, Toyota and Tesla might pair up and develop an electric car. It's odd, considering how different the two companies are. Toyota is a legacy automaker with astounding manufacturing capabilities, which was only recently forced to embrace the EV movement. The company was founded in 1937, and today it is worth $219.2 billion. Last year, they sold 9.35 million vehicles, surpassing German car maker Volkswagen. Compared to that, Tesla is a baby company, though it has boomed quite fast and left most legacy automakers in the dust. It was founded in 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, but they stayed underground until the release of the Tesla Roadster in 2006. And thanks to the rise in demand in China, Tesla is well on its way to earning a valuation of $1 trillion by the end of 2021. But they sold only 500,000 cars last year, which is nowhere close to Toyota's numbers. So what could the two companies possibly achieve together? According to some officials, they are in the final phase of their discussions about the matter. But you know how things go. It will likely take time, but the prospect of Tesla software paired with Toyota's engineering and resources is too exciting. And we're not the only ones excited about this match. The talks are apparently centered on a plan that would see Toyota bring its engineering know-how to the table, with Tesla's expertise software and control systems for electric powertrains being the other half of the deal. The goal is to develop a new platform that would be used for a smaller SUV. And if you're somehow surprised that these two companies would collaborate, Toyota was actually one of Tesla's shareholders until 2016. And Toyota also revealed their own EV, the electric RAV4 in 2012, which used a powertrain supplied by Tesla. So while they haven't technically created a vehicle together, they have worked together in the past. But unfortunately, it didn't work out quite as they hoped. The car saw poor sales, and their alliance ended in 2017. Still, the two CEOs kept their relationship, leaving room for a much-awaited reunion between the two companies. Now the new platform they are planning for the smaller SUV will hopefully sell for no more than $25,000. That is, if Tesla can manage to bring down the price of production of their batteries. Toyota has pushed back against the EV movement for quite some time, which means they have been left behind. It did focus much of its efforts on hybridity and hydrogen until now. It is currently pursuing that front and is expected to come out with some new all-electric models soon. In fact, Toyota has committed to launching at least 10 electric vehicles in the first half of the decade, including those for its luxury division, Lexus. From their other partner, Subaru, we can expect a compact electric SUV sometime later in 2021. Tesla certainly has been making progress in their development of vehicles, but that doesn't mean others have been idle. Along with Isuzu and its truck subsidiary Hino, Toyota plans to accelerate the electric and autonomous driving of commercial vehicles. Before that, Toyota had also established a hydrogen fuel cell development joint venture with five Chinese car and technology companies, including Tsinghua University, Beijing, Xil, Dongfeng, and Guangzhou Motors. The resulting hydrogen fuel cell system will be installed on Chinese trucks and buses from 2022. Meanwhile, Toyota is also striving to maximize economies of sale related to electrification and autonomous driving, including successive capital alliances with their rivals, Mazda and Suzuki. Currently, Tesla's problem is achieving large-scale manufacturing because their cars are still made to order. Toyota's manufacturing plant is one of the largest in the world and they have resources Tesla can really use. Plus, this will help Tesla's sales. They only sell 1,000 units a year in Japan, but this partnership will see those numbers rise significantly. Seems like Tesla will benefit the most from this partnership. So what's in it for Toyota? 
Well, the Japanese car company will be able to significantly reduce time spent on innovation and their integrated electronic control platform because they will essentially be using everything Tesla has been working on this far. For example, Toyota's features for wirelessly updating the operating systems in their electric cars are lagging behind Tesla's. Tesla is also at the forefront of autonomous driving. Their vehicles come standard with a driving assistance system they have branded as Autopilot. For an additional 10,000 bucks, you can get the full self-driving or FSD feature that, over time and through updates, will one day become fully autonomous. FSD has no doubt been progressing, both in capability and price, but it certainly hasn't reached the level where you can take your eye off the road. But it's still more than what Toyota has right now. Tesla cars also have the highest safety ratings in the world, with a five-star rating for their Model Y. Their design goes a long way in ensuring the safety of their passengers. Since the car has no engine, the front end absorbs all the impact in the event of a crash without transferring it to the driver. The 1,000-pound battery sits on the bottom of the car, which means the chances of flipping over are reduced by a considerable margin. Basically, cooperation will reduce costs in development for Toyota and in manufacturing for Tesla. This partnership is aimed at a win-win situation because the two companies compensate for each other's weaknesses. But why did they fail with the EV RAV4 in 2012? And how do we know it won't happen again? At the time of its release, the electric RAV4 was the only all-electric SUV for purchase, but it cost a whopping $50,000, and it was only sold in California, which seriously limited the number of customers. It was a great car by every measure, agile for its size, responsive steering, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds, or 6 if you're in sports mode. However, the charge times on the car made it impossible to sell. Unless you had a level 2 charger, getting a full charge required 24 hours. For the range it gave on a full charge, it simply wasn't worth it. That shouldn't be a problem now though. Tesla's superchargers can charge up your car in less than an hour, and soon-to-come mega charger for the Tesla Semi and Cybertrucks will only bump it up. We like to think that both Tesla and Toyota have learned from their past mistakes, and their new collaboration will be better than ever. Fans were excited for a minute when Toyota announced their BZ4X EV concept, a RAV4-sized electric vehicle that was revealed in the Shanghai Auto Show in April of this year. It should be here before the end of 2022, and Toyota even said it will have seven such EVs in their BZ lineup. This announcement had a Tesla collaboration written all over it. Sure, the body is rather what you'd expect from any typical Toyota SUV. It doesn't look as futuristic as a Tesla. But that's because Tesla had no hand in it. The rumors were false. The car was developed with Subaru, based on their ETNGA BEV dedicated platform. People were disappointed, but we should note that neither Toyota nor Tesla ever officially confirmed this information in the first place. But as we've seen, their collaboration would be beneficial for both companies. If Elon Musk is to fulfill his promise of an affordable Tesla car, he's going to need Toyota's resources to pull it off. And if Toyota is going to give us an electric car with over-the-air updates and fast charging times, they're going to need all of Tesla's designs. And of course, consumers would benefit too. Tesla doesn't offer servicing in their dealerships, but if they collaborated, Tesla owners could take their cars to Toyota dealerships to fix any problems and Toyota owners can use Tesla's vast network of superchargers to get fast charging. The merging of their forces will hopefully give us a new model, or maybe a few new models, in record time. What do you think? Should Toyota and Tesla collaborate? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and check out more on our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!